Okay, boo, so today is Transparency Tuesdays. And I know the past few weeks, maybe a month, I have been very inconsistent with, um, you know, uploading and blogging and things like that. But the past few weeks, well, month, has been kind of, you know, just kind of busy. Um, had family come in. My sister came in from California to visit. Then we had to go to Miami. And, you know, I had a friend come in from out of town. So it's been kind of, um, you know, kind of busy. So I haven't really been able to sit down and dedicate my time to YouTube or um, vlogging. But, um, so my apologies for that. Um, but it was for good reasons. Um, sometimes you have to get off social networks and, you know, live your life. And so, um, you know, you got to do those things family comes first um so what I really wanted to talk about was um my convictions or my opinions as a Christian woman as a woman in general as a human being is not judgment towards you I, you know I get this very often that um it was a few weeks on Twitter I said something and somebody took it as me judging them and I'm like whoa no I'm not judging anybody. If I speak openly and vocally about anything, it's not that I'm judging you. My opinion towards something is not a judgment towards you. My conviction towards something is not a judgment against you. Like for me, I I say I don't listen to secular music, but I listen to some old school. I listen to some Anita Baker, some Shaka Khan, Pag LaBelle, you know, whatever old school music. I don't particularly listen to new age rap for fun. You know, I might listen to know what the kids are talking about, but because I don't do that is not my a judgment towards those that do that. If you listen to rap music on a regular basis, whether you're a Christian or not, I'm not judging you for that. This is my personal conviction and I've blogged about it. I've spoken about it. I've tweeted about it. It's my personal convictions. As a Christian, um, having a relationship with Jesus Christ. It is a relationship. People confuse religion and relationship. Religion is something that you feel that you have to do out of, you know, because you're calling yourself a certain thing. You have to do something. In a relationship, you do it because you want to. That's your relationship. And within my relationship with Christ, I felt that it was important for me to find my convictions, to find the boundaries of my relationship with Jesus. Like, what can I do? What can I not do? You know, between him and myself. So, one of those things is I had to lay off of the rap music and read my blog to find out why. Um, however, that conviction for me is not a judgment towards those who do it. I'm a live and let live kind of person. I can warn you, I can give you my experience, I can give you my advice, blase blase, but at the end of every day, everyone does what they want to do. So there's no point, there's no reason, there's no urge to want to judge anybody for doing the things that they do. Um, I believe that um, people judge, some people can judge people because they kind of expect um, better from the person, but that's still no reason to judge anyone. But I just think that it's important that people understand. And this, I'm speaking for me. I can't speak for other Christians. I can't speak for other black women. I can't speak for other women. I can't speak for any other human being other than my son right now. But um, for me, I had to find my own convictions. And it kind of gets hard even dealing with them people within the body because you don't do something and they do something they automatically think that you're judging them and it's like just because I'm speaking vocally on something that you're speaking vocally on but it's the opposite doesn't mean that I'm judging you I don't take your your uh, speaking vocally on a certain topic as a judgment towards me so why are you taking what I'm saying as a judgment towards you I mean, it gets kind of frustrating when you out here, you know, we out here <laughs> trying to be Christ representers. We're trying to spread the gospel. We're trying to give warnings. We're trying to help, preach, teach, learn, 
enlighten, educate, encourage people. But because you're a Christian, they think anything that you say or anything that you do is a judgment towards them. And it's like, people, nobody's judging you. At least I'm not. I'm not here to judge anybody because I have a past just like everyone has a past. But that's the beauty of being in Christ. My past is gone. My past is erased. I'm a new creature. But because I'm a new creature doesn't mean that I forgot my past or I don't know where I came from or I don't know where I once was. And that's not to say that I can't sympathize and empathize with people that have been in the situation that I was once in or in other situations because I do. And that's why I want to help encourage people um, along their journey and get them connected with Christ. But don't ever think that because I'm a new creature, I'm judging the old things and I'm judging the old People get the word judgment confused um, because God does judge. God judges. If I speak and say that homosexuality is an abomination, it's because it is. That's what God says. That's what the Bible says. That is God's judgment. I didn't come up with that. I didn't wake up one day and say being homosexual is an abomination. And, you know, that's not me. That's God. So... Because I love God and I'm living for God and I believe in God, I back up what he says. So if I say homosexuality is an abomination, it is. That's that. However, I'm not judging that person for being a homosexual. You, you got to understand. Um, and I'll give you some background. There was time I was mad with someone. I was very uh, bothered by them and the way that they were talking to me and treating me it was just so opposite of what someone should do you know um tearing down and being very negative and being mean and rude and things like that and i would find myself getting angry because i'm a human yes i'm a christian but i'm a human i still have my emotions i still have my feelings as a human being but i had to check myself well really the holy spirit checked me and was like um, uh, you can't be angry. Be angry and sin not. It's okay to be angry, but don't sin. Like holding grudges, resentment, all that kind of stuff, building up um, is not good for me at least. And not forgiving that person for saying those things. That's the sin. So I was like, okay. So I just gave it to God. I said, you know, I really don't like how this person is talking to me. I really don't appreciate it. Um, I'm angry. I don't want to talk to them. I don't even want to see them. You know, things like that is how I felt. And then the Holy Spirit told me, it's like, you're not mad at the person. You're mad at the spirit that's influencing the person. You're mad at the spirit that the person is doing these things in. And I'm like, you're exactly right. I'm mad at the spirit. I'm not mad at that person. And so it goes the same for any other thing, for any other sin or any other thing that I don't support it's not the people it's not the people that's in it it's the spirit that's influencing those people and it's that evil spirit that is um that those people are moving in that's the stuff that I don't like or that those are the things that I'm having a judgment towards it's not the actual human being it's not the actual person but it's the spirit that that person is under the spirit that the person is influenced by and when that happens all you can do is pray because um, there's not much else you can do when someone is um, influenced. You know, you can rebuke it, but you got to pray for that person and let God work that thing out. So, um, I just wanted to clear the air. Not that air really needed to be cleared. I guess I just wanted to state that my convictions, my opinions, my thoughts, my views are not a judgment against anyone else it's just simply how I feel if I say I don't like when it's sunny outside that's not to say anything towards those that do like when it's sunny outside that was just an example because I love when it's sunny outside like today but you know people um, we gotta live and let live and I'm a Christian let me live let me be a Christian let me feel the way that I feel. Let me view things the way that I view things. I mean, it's my conviction. What are you going to do about it? Um, I was talking about something. Oh, I can't remember what I was talking about on Twitter. But it was probably like the whole Mary Jane and scandal and 
you know, shows like that. And I was just saying, I don't watch those shows. I'm not interested. I don't care to. It's not to say anything to those that do, but that's just me. I have a problem with seeing black women be degraded repeatedly. And that's what Scandal is to me, in my opinion. Why she gotta be a side chick? She has this high position, but she's sleeping with somebody else's husband. Mary Jane, sleeping with someone else's husband. Black women, we are more than just sleeping with someone else's husband. And I blogged about that, and I tweeted about that, and I don't watch those shows, and I don't support things like that. And someone was saying, well, I pray God opens your eyes uh, and lets you see. See what? See how stupid it is? That's my conviction. That's my opinion. That's how I feel about it. If you watch Scandal and being Mary Jane and anything else, you know, that's fine. I'm not judging you. I don't have a judgment towards you for me and who I am and where I'm trying to go and what I'm trying to be. That's just, that's just against everything that I'm about. I'm not about sleeping with somebody else's husband. So I'm not going to support a TV show where that's like the main action. I mean, I just can't and I just won't. But it's not a judgment towards you. I, I just, you know, just have to say those things, I guess, so people can understand, you know. They put Christians in this little box and they try to define us within our Christianity. I will not be defined by anybody but God. My definition is in Him, my value, my worth, everything is in Him. I'm only doing this mainly for people within the body, but those without outside the body to understand that Christians, we have our personal relationship with Jesus Christ. What I do, what I don't do is not a judgment towards anybody. My convictions, not a judgment towards anybody. It's not about you. Don't be so vain. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to share that. Um, I hope you all are having a great day. Um, yeah, be blessed. If you love someone, tell them. I love you. Bye.